What's it the blood of? <laughs> Don't feel badly if you can't stomach it. I didn't say that. Klingon blood wine is a staple of a good Klingon diet. A diet filled with worms, raw meat, and blood. And of course, blood wine. Find out what it is right after this. Hey everybody, I'm Taylor from Beard vs. Geek, where I show you it is okay to be a man and a geek at the same time. Klingon Blood Wine is a rite of passage, it is a fun Saturday night, and it is a very potent beverage. It is stated in Star Trek that Klingon Blood Wine is twice the strength of whiskey. So, whiskey, that's uh, 160 proof. Easy. Klingon Blood Wine is best served warm, kind of like British beer, which also tastes god-awful. I think I'm actually beginning to like Blood Wine. <laughs> it's really not too bad. <clears throat> Except for the taste. Blood wine is definitely an acquired taste, at least for those of us who are not Klingon. Those who are Klingon kick it back as if it was a power drink. In Star Trek Deep Space Nine, we find out that Klingon blood wine is also used as rites of passage. For example, the Order of the Batleth, people who are eligible for that spend the entire night staying up late drinking and drinking and drinking, and whoever's left standing in the morning can actually receive the honor. Blood wine does have different vintages, and those vintages depend on the quadrant that they are from and the year that they are made. We know this from General Martok having one particular vintage in mind that he believes is the best, whereas Worf likes a young, sweet blood wine. Klingon blood wine comes in two different containers. One, the barrel size for crew members on different warships, as well as, well, warrior parties and get-togethers and then a smaller, more individual package that looks similar to a motor oil bottle. We do know from the Star Trek cookbook that blood wine does have fermented blood, sugar, and grapes in it, but it does not state exactly what the blood is from. Now this is where we go into a theory a little bit. A lot of fans believe that this blood comes from the Targ. However, Targ's milk is already used in another beverage, its meat is used for eating, and it's basically a magical beast that's used for a bunch of different reasons, and there's a crap load of them. Going more into theory, I theorize that the blood of blood wine comes from the Kolar Beast. The Kolar Beast only has one reference in Star Trek Insurrection, where Worf states that he craves the live blood of a Kolar Beast. Now, I don't know about you, but I have cravings about things that I have already had. I believe that Worf was craving that blood because he had had so much of Kolar blood, and Kolar blood being used in blood wine, his second favorite beverage, first being prune juice, of course. Blood wine is used in rituals, used in sacrifices, used to salute the fallen heroes, and used to celebrate life and the fact that we're Klingon. Blood wine is a great staple in Star Trek, and ignoring what's currently going on is one of the most popular beverages in Star Trek, apart from Romulan Ale. To find out more about Romulan Ale, you can click right here, or you can click right here if you are brand new to subscribe. You can click right here for some more manliness or geekiness, because after all, if the women don't find you manly, they should at least find you geeky. I want to thank all the patrons who make this eat possible and better every month, and you can click right here to find out more about that. And until next time, Beard on, bro.